as life evolved, each species through its metabolic process, aided by sedimentation and sequestration, cleaned up this toxic place that Earth was in the beginning. And out of that process emerged an Earth sweet enough that even we could evolve into it and survive. It was a process that took 3.85 billion years. And in just a heartbeat, a flick of an eye, we reversed that process. The industrial age has turned the Earth's crust upside down and brought that stuff in whose presence we could never have evolved right back into our very living room. That's madness. We're the only species that digs up the Earth's crust and then turns it into toxic waste. How are other organisms meeting their needs? Have we ever thought of asking them for advice? Janine Benyus has written a book about people who are doing just that. It's called biomimicry, and it's the process of learning from and then emulating life's genius. It's based not on what we can extract from the natural world, but on what we can learn from it. Life's been on Earth for 3.8 billion years, and in that time, life has learned what works and what fits here. Mimicking their designs and strategies, their recipes, could change the way we grow food, power ourselves, conduct business, even the way we make our materials. Okay, materials. If we're not going to raid the Earth's crust, what will we use? Well, life might use something that grows and then decomposes, something we could farm instead of mine. But then farming would have to change from the factory that it is today to something more like a natural system. 